Hello, greetings from Exenta Business Solutions. In this demonstration, we will understand the functioning of retail module in Exenta ERP and the following topics will be covered. So, this is the retail dashboard in Exenta ERP. You can filter the dates from here. There are multiple options available. Currently, we have selected for the whole year. And there are these statistics in which if you select on any one, you will get a detailed drill down report of all the transactions that have been made for the year. Going back, there are multiple KPIs available in the dashboard, right from top 10 categories, store wise sales, your suppliers, the top 5 products, peak sales time, multi sales, top 5 customers and the sales which is done by the cashier. All these KPIs are downloadable, they can be exported to Excel, you can save it in PDF or image. Also if you wish to have a separate KPI, you can let us know and we can configure it for you. So this is a overall good data that you receive from Exenta ERP in the retail dashboard which helps you make proper business decisions and also help you in increase sales. You can also view this dashboard in your mobile phones anytime, anywhere, at ease. You will just need a proper internet connection to view the same. Let us look after the reports in Exenta ERP. There are two types, two categories of reports available here. One is the retail sales report and another one is the general sales reports. In this, there are multiple reports available. So we shall have a look at some of the reports that will help you analyze what kind of data is available in Exenta ERP in this reports. Let us talk about the sales return report. It gives you the detail about the items that were returned by the buyer. An overview of all those transactions come under the sales return report. When you click on this report, a wizard will pop up wherein you have to select the date range, let's say 1st of September till 23rd, that is today. And if you want to view this report for all of your stores, you can check mark this or else if you want to view for any of your particular stores, you can click on this and select any store. Now, Exenta ERP has the functionality to email the reports. You can schedule the reports and if you want to view weekly or monthly, so that can be configured in Exenta ERP. Now, let us view this report. Here, you see there is one return transaction in this month. When you click on it, you will get a brief about the transaction and when you click on this transaction button you will get a detailed analysis of this transaction you can also print receipt of this transaction so this is how the receipt looks now let us talk about the sales discount report firstly it tells what amount of discount is being given to the consumers during the time of purchase. Secondly, you have the details about the staff members who are giving discounts to consumers. As the staff members have access to give discounts to consumers, they can provide additional discounts in the business. So here, in this case, you can schedule and get reports over email on daily basis regarding how much discount is being given to consumers against different products and if there are any additional discounts provided by the staff members, you will come to know through the reports. Similarly, if any of your staff members have the access to increase or decrease the price of the product in the business, you will also come to know about that through the price override report. Then you have this payment tender report in which you come to know if the transactions in the point of sale were in cash or through card like Visa, Mastercard, American Express or through gift vouchers or else through customer account. Then talking about the negative margin report, it highlights about the negative profits in the business. So whatever transactions are done in the point of sale 
which are not profitable for the business can be seen here in the negative margin report. Now let us talk about the transaction sales report. Here in this report, more emphasis is given on the number of transactions taken or done throughout the day, week, month and so on. These are some filters available. You can choose and once you click on print here, the report will be printed. Here you see all these details are given. This is the sales report by transaction written down here. Okay. I'll quickly move down wherein you will see the number of transactions, the transaction count, total discount given and the total sales amount. Currently this is for all of the stores right now. You can filter the stores and you can view one by one. Now let us talk about the point of sale sales analysis report. In this report you get a 360 degree view about the POS transactions. It means you can see every single detail about the transactions posted in Exenta point of sale. Let's click on it and this wizard opens. You can select the date from here. Let's go ahead for all time and let us view this report in pivot. There are some additional filters available too if you want to view this report store wise. So you can select any store and go ahead category, department, products. So all these details are there. All these filters are available. Now let us view this report. So this is how the pivot view looks. As we have not selected any particular store, we can see the data for all these stores right now here. And as you drill down more, you will get a better sales analysis of all the POS transactions. So as I click here, there are multiple filters available here which you can view. So currently we can view this data month wise. So monthly sales is available for each of the stores. And if I want to see this data product wise, I want to know which products were sold for uh, all these particular stores. So I can go here, I can go to products and the list of the products will appear which were sold during this year right from January 2021 till September. Now if I want to drill down more I can do that and I can identify the brand, cashier ID, name and so on. Now there are also other filters available. So you can see today, yesterday all these things are available, subsidiary products, service talkable. So you can easily identify all these things here. Now there are some also other reports which are predefined you can say which is saved in the favorites. This star mark is known as favorites. So these reports are also there. For example monthly sales by division I want to see. So all these things will appear here division wise sales. Now I want to see by subcategory. So subcategories can also appear here. And if you create a report of your own in the pivot view, you can save that report. So you do not need to create that again. You can save that particular report in the save current search and enter your name, enter the name of the report and it will be saved. So when you are coming back, you can just select that report and you can view it again. Now there are different measures also available. If I want to view this report, uh, if I want to view the period discount amount in the report, so I can see here what was the discount amount given. Then there is a base quantity, line commission amount. So all these things are pretty straightforward which is seen in Exenta IRP. And uh, you can also flip the view. So this is a flip view. Wherein the subcategories go up and the month wise sales is seen here. You can download this report in Excel and you can also print it. Now we have this periodic discount report which will show you what kind of promotions were being run in the stores periodically. Then talking about the loyalty points report, this helps you analyze the list of customers who have received the loyalty points, how much have been used and how many points are still available with them. Then we have the sales store report. This report is basically for the management to understand the daily figures, month to date and year-to-date sales 
as discussed earlier this reports are schedulable and can be received every day over the emails now coming to the general sales report in which the first one is the sales analysis the sales analysis report tells you about all the sales transactions that have been taken place in the business including the point of sale transactions too talking about the sales and cost analysis report it gives you an overview about the cost of the product the selling price of the product and if there are any wastages or variances basis which you get the accurate margin product wise talking about the sales report supplier which highlights about the supplier who sends consignment to you for your business it identifies what cost have you incurred against each consignment and the sales amount you receive for it now let us talk about the customer analysis report this report is divided into two parts it firstly it helps me identify who are my new customers you can select a date and you will come to know who are the new customers in the business secondly it helps me understand who are the non returning customers so you can select a date here for example if i want to understand after 1st of september who are my non returning customers so i can select the date 1st september here and i will come to know that these are the customers who have not returned to my business after 1st of september another report is the sales performance report it is similar to the sales store report which we saw earlier this helps the management understand the overall sales figure for the day month to date and year to date sales figures now one of the most important report is the sales top end report which tells you the top most things in your business according to the filters available let us see them you can do the date selection here let us select this for one year and you can view this report by customer department division and so on so i'll select product here now the most important thing is how i want to calculate this report so there are three options available if i want to calculate this on the basis of quantity amount margin so you can do that for example if i select quantity here then products which have been sold the highest in terms of quantity will appear accordingly i am you have this top end thing so you can enter the count here if i want to see top 20 products so i'll get a list of all the top 20 products here let us make it 10 only as of now and let us view this report so in this report you see this particular product has the highest sales amount basis which it is ranking on the top if we would have selected quantity so here this product would have been ranking on the first position because it has been sold highest in terms of quantity now let us have a look at the common forms here so in common forms you can see the stores the number of stores that are in your business the customers you can import the customers through erp or you can enter the details if there are new customers coming in your store you can add the details in the point of sale and the list will be seen here in the back office then you have the products you can see you can import the products at once and all the products will come in here then you have the pos categories your staff members so how many cashiers are there in the business the admins you can see the list here the next comes the promotional voucher promotional voucher is nothing but a sort of marketing campaign that helps your business grow you can create the promotions here wherein you can specify the name of the promotions the type of promotions that you want to run for example discount percent discount amount and so on the redemption policy that is one time or multiple times the customer can redeem this promotion voucher and the minimum amount to redeem so once all these details are filled in you can just save this and the promotional voucher will be created next is the retail period discount where you can create multiple discounts like buy to get one deal price discount portion and so on when you see this deal price you can add the discount lines here through brand department division category subcategory product and so on just assume if the user 
purchases both the products separately then it will be a bit costlier for him but as we have applied a deal price here and he purchases both these products together then he will get both these products in a cheaper rate we also have the loyalty scheme loyalty program available with us wherein you can configure how many points the users can redeem the amount they will get against that particular points when these points will expire and so on once you have filled all these details you are you can just save it and you are set to run the loyalty program for your users let us have a look at the inquiries part now in this we'll see the pos transactions what are transactions are being done in the point of sale whether it is voided or unvoided all the transactions are recorded here and you will see the whole details when you click on any of any of the transactions here you get all the details right from the customer information transaction details loyalty amounts and so on you will also see the tender type which shows if the payment is done in cash card or both there are also few filters available outside when you click on this you will see the filters where you understand the sales payment income expenses void and void transactions and other data date wise information too then you have the point of sale shift transactions which help you understand the staff details like what was the start date and end date for the shifts the cash in the cash out and the balance left for the day then you have this gift voucher details here you will see how many gift vouchers have been issued to the customers when you go inside you will see all those details here and when you click on the transactions you will come to know the customer and the operations if it is redeemed or not similarly in the coupon transaction details here you will come to know all the details in depth with respect to the customers and with respect to the operations if it is redeemed or not then you have this loyalty transaction details here which will help you understand how many points have been issued to the customers against each of the purchases we also get to know about the stock on hand feature here so whatever stock you have you will see all these details right here so we will learn this feature and detail more in the inventory module